Hey you guys! Today I'm going to be going over what to do if your iPhone is saying that there is no SIM card. So in the top right corner of your iPhone, um, you're going to find a few different things. Your battery life, the Wi-Fi network you're connected to, and then to the left of that is going to be where your cellular plan is going to be um, and the cellular connection that you have. So if your SIM card wasn't working, um, this would be replaced by no SIM. But if you're certain that you have a SIM card in, um, there's a bunch of different ways to sort of get this back up and working. The first of which is to restart your phone. This is always the first thing I recommend doing if there's any problem with your phone. A simple restart often is able to get everything working as it should. And it's super simple to do. You're just going to press and hold the power button and the volume button at the same time until the slide to power off comes up, we're going to slide to the right and our iPhone's automatically going to power down. Ideally you want to keep it off for a minute or two um, and then press and hold the power button to turn it back on again. Hopefully after your phone has been restarted the SIM card will be working once again. However if that's not the case the next thing we want to do is um, open up the SIM tray and check the SIM to make sure it was put in correctly, make sure that there's nothing in the tray that's affecting its use. The first thing you want to do when ejecting your um, SIM card tray is taking your phone out of its case. The iPhone normally comes with a SIM card ejector, but if you don't have one of those, something like a, a paperclip or an earring works as well. Luckily, I have a safety pin with me right here that'll work. And then in order to get this out, we're just simply going to put the pointy end into the hole here. And then we're just going to pull up and it should just pop right out for us. And then we're just going to make sure it's in the tray properly. So what we want to make sure of is that the patterns are at the top here and the bottom is going to be white. And then once it's out, you want to make sure that this SIM card is not damaged. Um, so you can pop it out of the tray and just take a look at it in your hand. Make sure there's no scratches, um, no dust particles. You can blow on it to get rid of any excess things on it. You also want to make sure that the tray itself isn't damaged. If it all looks good, you can just pop it back right in the tray um, and put it back into your phone. However, if you did notice any scratches or any damages, you'd want to call your phone carrier and ask and request a new SIM card. To reinsert this, we're just going to simply push it back in gently um, until it snaps back in. Once it's back in, hopefully this um, it triggers your SIM card to start working again. However, if it doesn't, the next thing to do would be to go in and make sure there isn't a software update available. To check for a software update, you're going to go into your settings. We're going to go in to general and then select software update. I have an update preparing for me right now. I have automatic updates on, so whenever there's a new update available, it's going to update my phone for me. And once your phone is updated, hopefully that also gets your SIM card up and working. You should also check for any career setting updates. And to do this, you're going to launch your settings. We'll go back into general. And then we're going to select about at the top here. And if there was an update available, you'd have the option to select OK or update. Next, you'd want to contact your career. Um, and just give them a phone call explaining what ha what's happened and they can either send you a new SIM card or maybe walk you through some steps that you haven't tried yet. Or you can call Apple support as well and Apple support will be able to, again, walk you through any steps that you missed. Alternatively, you could walk into the Apple store as well and chat with uh, customer service there. So to summarize, when you're seeing no SIM at the top, there's a bunch of different possibilities. You're most likely looking at one of the following, a hardware problem, a software problem, a settings problem, or a career problem. Once you've identified which one it is, it's going to be easier to fix the problem itself. Alrighty you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that one or all of these methods worked for you and your SIM card is back up and running. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video.